and in this video I'll be giving you some information on the types of nonlinear relationships and correlation. So before this I had taken a video on what is correlation, what is correlation coefficient and the different types of correlations I have taken so you can click on the link given in the description box. So now this is a just a very short video with a little bit of information on the different types of nonlinear relationships. So to give you a heads up, a nonlinear relationship is something where when you plot values for x and y variables, okay, for two variables, if the variable is being plotted forms a straight line, then we say that they are linear. The correlation is linear. But if it doesn't form a straight line, then we say that they are going to be nonlinear. And within nonlinear, there are different patterns that get exhibited, different relationships, which is what we're going to see in this video. So the first one is quadratic relationship. So this is a form of an inverted U shape. So if you plot X and Y variables for a particular scenario, you would find that it forms an inverted U pattern, which is a quadratic non-linear um, relationship. So you would see, for example, if I can give you in this scenario is, let's say the employees, they get satisfied based on their work. Okay, whether there's going to be learning experience, yes. So if you see the satisfaction based on the work, if given a little amount of work, sometimes employees feel demotivated, they don't feel like there's a lot of learning. But when you have the optimum amount of work, yes, they do get a high level of satisfaction. But when you increase the work, then it becomes a pressure and their satisfaction decreases. So in this scenario, you find that there is a quadratic relationship. The next one is cubic. So in this type of a cubic relationship, you would find mostly in the field of thermodynamics where you have variables and the variable relationships that are, you know, exhibited is of a cubic relationship. So you would find two curves, okay, a double curve would form in this type of a nonlinear relationship. The next one is exponential. So when I say exponential, it means that the variables are constantly at a constant rate, they keep increasing or they keep doubling so a very common example of this is the growth of bacteria so over time the growth of bacteria keeps doubling and increasing exponentially so that's about the exponential nonlinear relationship the next one is we have logarithmic so logarithmic is something where you'll have a single curve and over time you would find initially that the values increase but at a point of time you would find that they start smoothening out Okay, so for example, if you try to increase the effi uh, efficiency of a machinery, to a particular point, you can increase its efficiency. But after a point of time, you would find that the efficiency of a machine keeps smoothening out and leveling out. So at that point, this type of a pattern form is logarithmic. And the last one is cosine. So the cosine relationship is a wave type of a relationship. Where it, for example, you can see the sound wave pattern. That forms a cosine, a wave um, pattern, which we call as cosine relationships and nonlinear correlation. So these are the different types of um, nonlinear relationships and correlation. If you found it helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.